only weeks ago, the malevolent Saravak brought the city of Baldur's Gate to the edge of destruction. You, like him, are a child of Baal, the dead god of murder. Baal foresaw his own death and sired mortal children in an effort to bring about his return. Saravak intended to become the new lord of murder. You put an end to Saravak's plans and slew your half-brother. With his passing, you became known as the hero of Baldur's Gate. Now, a new threat casts a shadow over the city. A massive army on a holy crusade has thrown the Sword Coast into turmoil. Little is known of the crusade's leader, the charismatic warrior Kalar Argent. Those who follow her revere her as the Shining Lady, but her background and goals are shrouded in mystery. Some say she is divine, a hero sent by the gods to crush evil no matter the cost. Others whisper that she is another spawn of Baal, intent on following the same path as Saravok. One thing above all else is clear. If the Sword Coast is to find any measure of peace, Kalar Argent must be stopped. Sarlok's dead. Everything's a mess. We should have gotten out of the city days ago. No chance of that now. But Korlash knows what she's doing and... Hey, did you hear that? We'd better tell the boss. Come on. Ugh. Smells like moldy bones down here. Bones and evil! That is the stench which Minsk sniffs. Well, here we are in a creepy old tomb again. The last of Saravok's followers are down here, according to the Flaming Fist. All you gotta do is find their leader and bring her to justice. Mostly mercenaries, led by a wizard named Korlaz. This is her family's tomb. She aided Saravok, and the Grand Dukes want her dead or alive. We'd better be careful. I really want to. I wouldn't be much help, though. Ever since I asked Duke Janath to teach me how to sling spells, she's had me cooped up in the stuffy old library, studying boring books about the weave. She only let me come down here after I promised to bring her any arcane scrolls or tomes I could find. They're mostly mercenaries, led by a wizard named Korlaz. This is her family's tomb. She aided Saravok, and the Grand Dukes want her dead or alive. We'd better be careful. I'll follow behind you with these flaming fists. If you need help with anything, just ask and I'll do what I can. There's a healer here, too. Talk to her if you need any bandaging. She also knows all about fighting undead. Timora shine on you. Not that you'll need it. You want me? Sweetheart?
Hurry up! All right, all right! You're too late! It's already gone! Aren't you here for his sword? I thought... I've said too much. All you need now is that not for death awaits you here. Turn back now where you still can. Mm, right. What would you have if you insist? of lemon balm oil, <laughs> a half pinch of powdered silver, oh, I I'm creating an alchemical concoction to reveal magically concealed writings. Uh, a mercenary was supposed to guide me further into the tomb to find the component I'm missing. Just now, their leader summoned them away, though. She bid me stay here for my own safety. If you happen to come across cobalt moss and bring some to me, I'd be truly grateful. Whatever you like. You have your way very well. Yes. Yes, dear. Hurry up! Your life ends here. All right, all right!
What would you have me do? Yes, stay there. By the men. Back away. Back away and you might survive this. Sarabok's sword. We stole the blade from the Ducal Palace, but you killed the man. Thought you might claim it as your own. Everyone steals for a reason, even if it's just the thrill. What would you have me do? All right, all right! You want boo? Let's talk more fight! Your wish, you insist. You want me? Yes, dear. I hear, keep Sweetheart. watch for ancient tombs or any scrolls that might contain lost arcana. What would you have me do? Your wit? Very well. Hurry up! Very well. Mm. Whatever you like. What would you have me do, if you insist? Your wish? Very well. Hurry up! All right, all right!
What would you? All right, all right. Your wit, if you insist. Your need, right? Hurry up, if you insist. This chasm sure looks deep. Hey, uh, how are things going? I just saw a note on Duke Janath's desk. It fell on the floor and I, I just picked it up, honest. It said someone broke into the palace and took Saravok's sword. Could that be it? I don't know why Corlaz would take the sword, but if it's gone, she must have given it to someone else. Maybe we can find a record or shipping log in her chambers. We'll follow behind you. I've got your back. What would you have me do? Your wish? All right, all right! Yes. Whatever you like. Hurry up! Oh, intruders! Hey, there. Yes, yes the dear. Of the arcade. You will disturb my rest no longer. I will destroy you. What would you have me do? What would you have me do? Your wish? All right, all right!
gather your party before venturing forth. We've reached the catacombs. Watch your step. There are bound to be traps. I wouldn't be surprised if there are more undead, too. Tombs like this are usually full of wandering old bones. If you need some advice on dealing with undead, the Flaming Fist Healer might be able to help. She's a priestess of Lathander, and knows a lot about how to deal with restless spirits. You want me? Right. more than welcome in my sight. Thank you. 
sweetheart. Whatever you like. smelly as it usually is, we come for you anyway! Well, scrub devil! Yes. Though I can't see in the d d dark, I still prefer the surface. Your wish, if you insist.
right, all right! Hey there. Yes, dear. What would you if you insist? Sweetheart? Hurry up, if you insist. Braziers in here must be magical. Hey, uh, how are things? These braziers are strange. Sure, what's on your mind? It's strange having these new arcane powers. Back in Candlekeep, I never dreamed I might be a spellslinger like Gorion someday. Life sure has taken us to unexpected places. You more than me, I guess. It seemed practical. After all the weird places we've been, I thought it would help if I knew a couple spells and could figure out what the magical gadgets we find are for. Then, well, I had a knack for it. Magic. I like studying my spells and remembering how Gorion would do the same back in our Candlekeep days. Feels like I still have a connection with him, you know? You have a point. We can talk more about this later. For now, we should keep moving. Hey, yeah. Uh, how are things going? No surprise there. 
Talk to the Flaming Fist healer, and she'll patch you right up. We'll follow behind you. I've got your back. You have my greetings, faithful one. It has been too long since Minsk journeyed what with such a me fine do? companion. Your knee. Right. Yes, whatever you like. Well, you would have run too in hey my there. place. Right.
What would you have me do? Your wish? All right, all right! Insist. What would you have me do? Sweetheart? Right. Keep watch for ancient tomes or any scrolls that might contain lost arcana. Whatever you like.
Hurry up! Very well. Your need. Whatever you like. Though I can't see in the d d dark, I still prefer the surface. What would you if you insist? Wow, look at the size of that door. There must be a lever or something to open it. Gather your party before venturing forth. Very well. Yes. Right.
Hello again. Your wish, if you insist. Hey there, whatever you like. Hurry up! That stings, doesn't it? That stings, doesn't it? Sweetheart? Right. You want boo? Mm, right.
What would you have me do? All right, all right! Damn you. Damn you and all you defend. Everything was going to be different. Saravok was going to change the world. I gave everything to his cause and you destroyed it all. Demand for the fallen. Forward march. Nature's servant awaits. Take it like a champ. I will recover. The what friendship of well. Minsk and Bo travels with you. You cannot see it, but it is always there. And sometimes smells of lemons. Your need? Whatever you like.
would. I wish I could have helped you out, but my magic still needs some work. A lot of work. I suppose so. Are you ready to leave now? This place gives me the shivers. The Flaming Fists and I are gonna head back upstairs using the rope we found. It's just south of here. It takes you right up to the entrance. We'll meet you there when you're ready to leave. Gather your party before venturing forth. All right, all right! Would you all right, all right? Yes, this is it. We've done what we came to do. Time to head back to the palace for a well-earned rest, don't you think? Thank you gods, it's done! It's over. It's finally over. Saravok's allies are all dead, or awaiting the noose. What will you do now? You're all right. I worry about you. Let's never find out, all right? Corlage is defeated, and the last of Saravok's influence died with her. Your foster father, Gorion, has been avenged. With the exception of your friend Imowen, those who helped you thwart your half-brother's schemes drift away from you, returning to their lives. For the first time since you left Candlekeep, you have the opportunity to reflect on the astonishing turns your life has taken. Though you are fettered by the rulers of Baldur's Gate, a sense of unease plagues you. You can't help but hear the rumors, the whispers that you share the same dark blood as Saravok. Some hint you killed your half-brother, not for the good of the city, but so you could usurp his place and his power. For the moment, however, your persecutors' voices are drowned out by an ever-growing number of others with more immediate concerns. Every day, more refugees driven from their homes by the servants of Kalar Argent arrive at the city gates. Many have stories of the Shining Lady's grace, all have tales of her followers' wrath. A ten day after Corlage's defeat, you retire to your chamber in the Ducal Palace, your thoughts troubled. You wonder what effect Kalar's crusade will have on Baldur's Gate, little knowing how close at hand the answer is. <laughs> <laughs> 